Hey guys, this is Sophie from Res Community and today I want to talk to you about settings. I know I have talked to you about settings in different video, but here I want to talk to you because this is an Android 5.1 and it's important that you understand how to get to different settings that you need that you don't find in the settings menu. Let's go to the, to the settings. Okay. Um, yeah. By the way, I am doing it on the Lampho Lamp Pro 4 Pro, which is a great watch, trust me. Great watch. I mean, battery life is just amazing with all connectivity. Oh, yeah, I want to show you about how great it is as you can see i have gps wi-fi and 3g all on wi-fi is only when i'm at home but gps and 3g 24 7. It's actually 24 7 it's on and i'm using activity apps just a sec activity apps like sense me and this one sense me is actually an app that is is tracking all your movement i want to show you something rest okay let's go back rest is on sleep is on and of course pedometer is on they're all on and it's amazing because even with them, I get a great battery life. And why I am impressed with battery life on this watch? Because, because I also use this one. They both work in the same, at the same time. See, this one is also, this is a great, I mean, great app, which is uh, tracking your movement during the day, step calorie time distance etc and of course you can look for other info on this app so and don't forget that the activity app itself that is the stock step app which is on also okay let's go back to what i wanted to do from the first place and that is the settings yeah Okay, sounds, guys, seriously, sound display, this kind of things you already know. App list style, I mean, the way you want it to be on your, the way the menu, you look at it. Cancel, connect. Uh, what I want, yeah. As you can see, USB, you don't see here because only when you connect your watch to your computer then the usb will appear and there you have to choose the one that you want to see the files the in the internal storage okay only if when it's connected to your, your computer let's go back gesture by the way as you can see pedometer service is on always on 24 7. screen on racing guys are you really okay most of you want it, I don't want it. I just press it, the button. You know, simple, press. Power saving, the only downside of this app is it just doesn't show you how long the watch is on. Uh, from full charge to full charge. It doesn't show you, it's a pity. On Android 7 it is. Language, do you know that Go to Eric's video, you will see how to activate OK Google Voice, amazing. Um, but when you use Google Gesture, then you can use OK Google from any screen on your watch. Amazing, I mean, seriously, you can do stuff without touching the watch, with just with OK Google. So go check Eric's video and please subscribe. Oh. I went too far. 
Okay, display. Uh, let's see if there is something to. Nope, there isn't. Oh, just yes, all the taught you language. Um, by the way, all languages are here. If you not sure, trust me, all languages are there. I'm using the current keyboard is the one because the, the stock keyboard is just really not that great. Um, let's go back. I want to show you. See one keyboard. You see, there is so much info that it gives you how to adjust it to your watch, even on round smartwatches, I use it, and it's great. But I have to say that the key, the stock keyboard on round display is better than the stock keyboard on square display. Let's go back. Go back. Date and time. There are things you already know about which watch. Okay, here, as you can see, there isn't more settings. I have checked, there isn't. So for that, for the other setting that you don't see, you need this app. This app, Google Gesture. I will press it. Okay, this one you need, the Google gesture. Nope, 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 went somewhere else, I think. Oh, no, no, yeah, I'm in the right place again. This one, you need this one, Google gesture, okay? Now, just write whatever you want, like um, data. Let's go to data. See, data usage. By the way, data usage here, you can see it with Google gesture. On under seven watches, no, you have to do it differently. Okay, that is cellular. Then you go down. This is cellular, and this is over Wi-Fi. So you go to cellular, and just like say, um, I don't know. I want something that I don't. I'm not using. Let's say this one. Okay. If you don't want it to use data connection. You just press this one and put it on. That way it won't choose data connection and it will save you better, better life. I mean, this is data connection and how to use it for Wi-Fi and everything that you want on your watch. This is amazing, amazing app. I mean, you can control everything that actually use your battery life and just disable it in easy way. Okay, let's say now access. Yeah, notification access. Then I go, there is another stuff. You see, here you can give whatever you want access. Oh, by the way, this is notification apps. Swap link, push bullet. Phone connect, you understand, but there is push bullet, swap link, and watch droid, and M2D. This is the apps that I will show you in different video uh, okay this is was the now let's go back again to access you know here you go as would use as access okay different apps that have that usage access you can decide which one you want on and which one you don't want on um add administration add administration i did something wrong let's go back add yeah i don't know this one doesn't work maybe because it's you need root for it somehow on different watches it worked okay here you go. How to activate stuff or not activate stuff. Also, also you can write just apps. You see, and you can. You curious about something? Just go in it, like app. Okay, go back into it, and you get everything that you want. You look here and see if there is something that you missed that you didn't see. So it's app info. We went into apps. It's actually apps info. 
this is the one. Manage app the same. Manage apps is the same as the one I already entered. Um, notifications, you want to see what it is, just go to it. And then you can notification app priority if you want to get make sure that you get information from it just click it on you don't want to get information from it click it off okay this is there let's go back to apps note not good okay apps let's see if I miss something okay no that's it this is a video to show you settings that you can actually get access with an app. Just a sec. With an app or with settings. But as I showed you on settings, you can because there is no more on settings, which on Android 7 watches there is. But here, just use Google Gesture and I give you a link for it. If you don't see it on the Play, the Google Play Store on your, on your country, just just write Google Gesture APK download and you get you will be forward to an, an a site that will give you how to download this APK and store and install it on your watch. Um, I will talk you next time on how to use M2D on this magnificent watch, watch droid swapping. All these, there are notification app, and then you can decide which one is good for you. But remember one thing: these apps don't give you BD calls. That means you cannot answer your f phone calls from your watch with these apps. You can only see that you get notification about them, and then decide if you want to if you want to answer or not on your phone. You can only disable this call on your watch not answer it okay that's it for now i hope you enjoyed please subscribe and understand that this watch is one of the best i've used and yeah it's square but it's great for someone who wants a square display i mean seriously one of the best smartwatches i have used i am using two phone on my hand and my wrists this one on my right hand and the wrong one on my left hand yeah, I'm using two watches because I love this watch and I cannot give up on it. But I like the round watches too. So it's your decision. Two watches, one watch, which one? Your decision. See you next time. Bye for now. Sophie from Rest Community.